Hi guys, so it's Quinn here and I'm doing another vlog for my In My Mailbox Stacking the Shelves post. I have to say that I really like doing these vlogs. I thought maybe I'd feel weird just talking to my computer, but um, I don't feel weird. I don't know if I just like talking to myself or what, but I probably won't do one next week because I will be on vacation. I'm actually going to Washington DC next Friday. I can't wait. I'll be there for a few days. I'll be coming home Monday. If you're wondering what this little white puff thing here, this is my dog Daphne. She's sitting in my lap because she was getting a little jealous. She's three years old and she's a Bichon Frise. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. And my other dog, Ginger, is a little jealous that Daphne's in my lap right now, so she might be growling a little bit. If she um, calms down, I might put her in my lap so you can see her, too, in case you want to. You might not want to. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's share what I got this week for um, new books. I didn't buy any books this week, which is a good thing. I have so many books, um, both from the library, from NetGalley, from Edelweiss. Um, and then books that I actually own that I have not read yet. So it's good that I didn't buy any, but I still managed to pick some up from the library. I'm helping the circulation. Also, I am sitting by the window, so there is a bit of a glare on the covers. So hopefully it doesn't blind you, but just a little forewarning. Anyway, I got a couple books on hold. The first one is very exciting. It is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. You'll see this sticker right here. Oh, I hate that they put the sticker right over Tessa. Um because this is such a pretty cover, and to have that big sticker there kind of ruins it. And when libraries, or, well not always, but when a lot of libraries order books, we order them processed, which means that they um, come with this plastic cover over the dust jacket of hardcover books. It's, oh, I think we call it Mylar covers. It's so that the book covers don't get all torn and, you know, keeps them nice, and you can also clean them very easily. So it came like this with a cover over it, and of course it's over the sticker. The sticker's on there, which kind of ruins the cover, which makes me sad. Not that I'm not excited for the City of Bones movie, because I am, and I've seen the new trailer, which looks awesome. Although I wish we got to see a little bit more of Magnus. But anyway, I did get Clockwork Princess, which I am so excited to read. Actually, no, I'm not excited. I am terrified to read this book. I, um, I am so afraid. I, I have a hard time with love triangles in general. I don't really like them. I can't, I can't understand, I can't understand girls, or you know, or anyone, guys or girls, but the ones I have read is usually with a girl with two guys to choose from. And I just, I mean, sure, I mean, I certainly think that people would love more than one person in their whole lifetime, but loving two people at the same time? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like reading about that. And if this wasn't Cassandra Clare, I wouldn't be reading these books. But it's Cassandra Clare, and she's fantastic, and I have to figure out what's going to happen next. But um, at the same time, I'm so afraid. I'm pretty sure I'll be getting all teary-eyed and emotional, and um, I don't always really like that feeling. I know some people, you know, love to get all weepy with books, but I'm not that someone. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about this. I'm terrified to read it, but I will, so woohoo! And then another hold I got in this week is Daughter of the Forest. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, you guys. It's Juliet. Mm, I'm not going to try. I'm just going to put it down there. I've heard a lot of great things about this series. I think it's called the Seven Waters series. I haven't, I don't really know too much about it. I think it might have fairy tale bits to it. And you know I love fairy tales. And it's fantasy. So it came in for me. And I'm all excited. This is the little old slip that I'm going to take out. It's got my name on it. You guys wanted to look me up, which you can, because I'm not in the phone book, but just in case. So, um, I got this. I'm excited to give this a try. It's in trade paperback, or actually, no, I'm sorry, it's in mass market paperback, which isn't great um, looking, but that doesn't matter. And then I also picked up another book by the same author that we have in at Pettit. I have wanted to read this book a number of, or for a while, and I've checked it out a few times, and I haven't read it, but I thought I would grab it this time, and it's called Wildwood Dancing which is also by the same author, and I think this is a YA book, fantasy, and I think it has fairy tale bits, and it's got such a pretty cover, and then even the back cover, can you guys see? It's got, like, the two people embracing, and I like it. But, uh, again, I'm hopefully I'll, this will be the time I actually read it. It looks really good. And then the last book that I got is a children's book. It's one that I have been meaning to read for a long time as well, and I just haven't gotten to it. I have checked it out from the library before, and I just didn't read it. But anyway, it's called Tuck Everlasting. I'm sure you guys have heard of that by Natalie Babbitt. 
And um, you guys maybe have seen the movie. I've seen the movie. I think the movie is adorable with Alexis Bledel and um, the other guy that used to be on General Hospital. That's how I know him. The, the guy that played the boy that she liked. Um, I don't know his name. Jackson? I think his last name is Jackson. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I got this. So we'll see if I actually read it. I don't know. It's pretty thin. It wouldn't take me long to read it, but um, as you guys can see, I've got quite a few things I want to read. So we'll give it a try and see what happens. I got one other thing from the library this week. It's not a book. It's actually a CD. It's the soundtrack to Pitch Perfect. So I'm really excited that this finally came in. I was waiting on hold for this for a little while. And um, I've seen the movie. The movie's adorable. I thought Rebel Wilson was fantastic. Definitely the best part of the movie. But um, yay, I'm excited. So it'll be perfect timing since I'm going away um, next Friday and it'll be about a seven hour drive to get down to Fredericksburg. Um, I'll have something fun to listen to. <laughs> you hear my dog sneezing? That's Ginger. She sneezes a lot. And um, so yeah, that's all I got this week. I hope you guys had a good week. My week was pretty busy. Um, I live in Syracuse, and SU's basketball team, Syracuse University's basketball team, is in the Final Four for the NCAA tournament. I don't really follow basketball or any kind of sports. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I'd rather sit and read. And I don't know. But my, my family is huge, huge sports fans and um, <laughs> huge SU basketball fans. So since they are going to the Final Four, SU is the team, my parents and my aunt and uncle and my other aunt and her son and his wife and my mom's friend and her husband are all going to the Final Four. Um, they were able to get tickets because they get season tickets for the basketball game, so they get them through the university because the university was allotted so many tickets because their team is in the basketball tournament. So they just went down to Atlanta today, which I would love to go to Atlanta. I mean, I wouldn't really want to go to the Final Four, but um, so they're all there. So there was this sort of mad... Because they just, I mean, they just recently, you know, were able to get tickets and get it all. So it was all this, like, mad dash to get everything set and to get their packages and what time their plane is leaving. Because I didn't find that out until yesterday. Or maybe it was the day before. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm going to be done. I'm being a chatty Kathy today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Let me know if you've read any of these books and if you like them or if you didn't like them. And also let me know what good books you got this week.